So we got the young one making some. Uh, what are you making? You make an almond milk? Is that water? Yes, it's water. You make an almond milk? Look, you gotta get more of them. So we are making some um, almond milk from a uh, scratch, as y'all see. And I got the little one helping me, putting that work in, raising them up, training them up early. And almond milk is um, pretty fairly pretty fairly uh pretty easy to make uh, you just take either a cup of almonds or how much ever almonds you want to use this is about two cups you soak them overnight and some um some good water uh, don't put them in the refrigerator leave them out and cover them up because they'll plump up more and then you can either use a three to one ratio or a four to one ratio or whatever ratio that you feel like is best for you to get the consistency that you want. Um, right now I have well, seven, I put seven cups of water in here. So I got a three and a half to um, one ratio. And I did a four to one ratio yesterday when I made it. It was pretty good. My wife liked it and my son liked it. And um, you just blend it up. And then after you get done, you get a nut bag or you can use a cheesecloth. A cheesecloth is going to require some more work. So a nut bag is better. You strain it out into something like this or whatever you got. And um, that's it. Oh, yeah, you add your sweetener, too. You can um, just start with, with the basis in regards to your sweetener and then go from there. I think I use a, a fourth of a cup. And then I sweeten it from, from there because we like ours a little bit more sweeter. And the sugar we use is a organic sugar. Um, don't use that table sugar because it'll definitely be too sweet. But you can use honey. Let me see. We got some um, honey right there. You can also use dates. And you just put it all in there and blend it up. And the dates, it'll also sweeten it too with the natural sugar. So whatever... You want to sweeten it with, you can sweeten it with. But um, it's a good way to get the kids involved, as you see. We got my little one. He is helping me, keeping him busy. All right, so we got all of our almonds in there. We got our sugar in there. And my son is getting back up here so he can press it. Now, what's that? Press that one. Yeah. Press it. He they, want, they press it. He wants me to do it. So we're going to do it together. Okay. He's probably a little bit scared of it because it's loud. So now we're going to press that one. It's going to be loud, David. You making almond milk? So I do mine on puree and then I check it if I need to come back. Then I um, hit it again with either a smoothie or a frozen drink. So let me see if I can do this with one hand and watch my son so he can be safe. You see it's nice and um, frothy from all the air in there. And my son wants me to pick him up. So uh, it's a balancing act. <laughs> Now I got my son and my 
lap and recording. I got you. Just trying to see what's going on. So, trying to get some of this froth gone. And I'm going to taste it. Mmm, it's good. Hey, awesome, Daddy. So now Davey wants to taste it. Y'all can't see, but... And y'all hear him. <laughs> and that's how you make almond milk. We'll be back. Because I do have some um, some oat milk. <laughs> and uh, I made some oat milk earlier. And we're going to strain it. So let me take care of him. What's up? What's up? Just want to drop this on y'all. It's been a productive day. Yeah. It's been a productive day. We got almost two quarts, probably one and a half of um, oat milk. Yeah, this is oat milk. Come on now, look at that. It's beautiful, fresh, homemade. Pretty much three ingredients from this. Yeah, oats, oatmeal. And then we got some almond milk right here let y'all check that out yeah the real deal made from scratch come on now so um i'm gonna show y'all this for those who may be interested this is what you're gonna need you're gonna need these um these bags you can get them off um amazon to come to three of them and the good thing is they are washable. This is the one I just used to make all this milk. And you can see that everything that was in it, it's gone. There's nothing in there except the water that's being dried out. But all the um, uh, pulp and stuff like that, all of it is uh, is gone. And you're going to have nothing but filtered milk. You can also use these for teas, uh, making yogurt, stuff like that. So you get three sizes. You get a large, you get a medium, and you get a small so boom come on now i don't think i can get the lid off that i ain't gonna try let me see fresh filtered milk nothing in there just straight that straight drop as they say so then um this is the pulp that's left over from the almonds. And then we're gonna make some with that. And I'm gonna soak me some more almonds. So when that's gone, then um, I can make me some more. The good thing about the, the oat milk is you don't have to let it soak. You don't have to let it soak overnight. Because what happens is if you let it soak too long, it gets slimy. It gets slimy. But what I what I learned is um, the longer you let it sit, the slimier it gets, then it actually thickens up a little bit more. So depending on how thick you like your milk or how thin you like your milk, and you're going to use uh, steel cut oats or rolled oats or whatever oats you're going to use, then um, let it sit, not overnight, but after you blend it up in the blender. So gonna have a good time with that we got some apple cobbler over there oh yeah it's going down i think i'm gonna go with that one right there the oat milk because my wife she likes that one that's how we get down at home it's been a productive day i'm out god bless y'all